I still see men coming in harmed organically from anabolic steroid use. Shout out LeBron, everybody tag LeBron, tell him he needs a bodybuilder athlete. We've been waiting this for quite some time and uh, this one, guys, this one is incredible. So when he was a kid, uh, he was raised on a farm in Blue Goose, Tennessee. Um, and then whenever I coached him in football, Dallas is known uh, for being a hard worker. Uh, comes from blue collar roots. If you are a bodybuilding fan, you must have heard about Dallas McCarver. The bodybuilding industry suffered a shock last year when Dallas, a 26 year old, met with sudden demise. I still see men coming in harmed organically from anabolic steroid. I have two more meals, I go to bed, and I wake up in the night and have a shake, and then all over again. All right, so it's chest day. It's my typical Monday. Um, first thing I'll do is wake up. Of course, he was looked up to as a prodigy and hailed as the next young mass monster coming out of the U.S. His demise was saddening, but also brought to light his history of steroid abuse. Initially, it was rumored that he passed away because of choking, but a 26-year-old guy dying of choking is difficult to believe. So the world waited with bated breath for his autopsy report. Now, three months after his demise, the autopsy report is out, and unlike Rich Piana's case, we do have a toxicology report in Dallas's case. So let's clear the air regarding the rumors. Who was Dallas McCarver? The six-foot-one, 300-pounds bodybuilder started his career at an early age and went on to earn his pro card at an age of just 21 years old. He won many popular bodybuilding competitions and even placed eighth at the 2016 Mr. Olympia competition. He seemed to have a promising bodybuilding career as he was huge and carried just as much mass as the top-level pros. However, the first jolt came in March 2017 when Dallas collapsed while posing at the Arnold Classic in Australia. During pre-judging, the 26-year-old bodybuilder was going through a series of poses before collapsing and needing to be helped off stage. At the time, he apparently had an upper respiratory infection that became a bad case of bronchitis which led to his collapse. He said that he was okay and had his health under control. Although he did get back to his routine training soon enough, but in August 2017, he was found unconscious in his home. Since he was found with food scattered all around him and in his esophagi, it was believed that he passed away from choking. Since word of his shocking demise spread, fans and fellow athletes flocked to social media offering their condolences. Lenartovich took to Instagram sharing a collage of photos of showing himself with McCarver. He wrote in the post that today we lost a great bodybuilder but an even greater person. Fellow bodybuilder Sasan Hirati shared a photo of himself with McCarver on stage during a competition to Instagram as a tribute. Hirati wrote, RIP Dallas McCarver, I had the honor of sharing the stage with you on my very first ever pro show. I didn't get a chance to get to know you, but it really saddens me to lose such an icon and great bodybuilder for our time at such a young age. Fortunately, the bodies walk into my office. Dallas McCarver was just an unbelievable case. Consistent with Chad, you know, it's, we're going to use, you know, these food sources, and we're just going to change the amounts here and there. Shout out LeBron! Everybody tag LeBron. Tell him he needs a bodybuilder athlete. Dallas McCarver. Never take life for granted. It really can end at any time be grateful for everyone and everything you have. Another professional bodybuilder, Dexter the Blade Jackson, also shared a photo to Instagram, showing him alongside McCarver and wrote a touching tribute. Jackson, who is the 2008 Mr. Olympia, wrote, one of the saddest days ever for me, Dallas McCarver has passed. It hurts me so much because I was like a mentor to this young dude. I love this dude. He was one of the realest for sure. He will always call me Papa, and I would say I ain't your dad. Don't call me that. R.I.P. my brother, I love you Dallas. McCarver's girlfriend also started replying back to some social media users who had offered her condolences over his shocking demise.
Brooke tweeted in reply to Natalia Neidhart, one of her WWE co-stars and friends, Thank you, Natty. All we can do is be strong for him and pray like he would like. Hours before McCarver's demise, Brooke shared a photo of them smiling together as her Man Crush Monday. Public Information Manager of the Boca Raton Police Department, Mark Economou, told The Hollywood Life a similar statement and said, The cause of demise is pending on the medical examiner's report. At this time, foul play is not suspected. Earlier on Monday, McCarver appeared to be fine as he worked out in a local gym and posted a video to Instagram where he chest-pressed 160-pound dumbbells in each hand with the assistance of his friend, Josh Lenartovich. Go on your stomach first. It might work out at 3 o'clock in the morning. Huh? We've been waiting this for quite some time, and uh, this one, guys, this one is incredible. He worked harder than anybody else, and so it's just kept falling over to football and to bodybuilding. For reps, or we're a little bit away for reps, uh, just to, you know, let this shoulder get back in line and get healed up. McCarver was the face of Redcon 1, an online sports supplement and training apparel site that he often promoted on his social media accounts. The CEO of the Redcon 1, Aaron Singerman, recounted in an emotional Facebook video how he found out that McCarver passed away. Singerman said that Lenartovich, who was McCarver's roommate, found him face down in the kitchen and not breathing. So they cleared out his passageways and removed the food in there, the blockage. Panic-stricken Australian bodybuilder Josh Lenartovich found his friend Dallas McCarver not breathing and blue in his Boca Raton, Florida home and called 911. Lenartovich told the 911 operator in a frantic phone call that there's something in his throat. Every time I do mouth to mouth, there's like something in his throat I can't get it out. He just gargles out. He was eating something. The female dispatcher then coached Lenartovich through CPR until the paramedics can arrive. When she asks if anything is coming up as a result of the chest compressions, he told the dispatcher that he sees pink stuff around his lips and that he found him face down and there was blood on the floor. Josh actually cleared the passageways and removed the blockage, did CPR, and when the ambulance came, they continued. They then brought him to the hospital and tried to resuscitate him, but unfortunately it didn't work out. He added that McCarver was generous and kind to everybody. And this was actually released and signed by the medical examiner. To when he was a kid, uh, he was raised on a farm in Blue Goose, Tennessee. Um, and then whenever I coached him in football. So uh, we're trying to get it in real quick. We're in the chest only today. Autopsy report, a story bodybuilders don't want to believe. His autopsy report clearly states severe cardiomegaly, which means abnormal enlargement of heart. This is common with people who use anabolic steroids and HGH. His heart weighs around 833 grams, almost thrice the size of a normal human heart, which is 300 grams. Even Rich Piana, who was 20 years older than Dallas, had a heart that weighed 670 grams. You can imagine the extent to which steroids were abused to achieve such great things at such a young age. This is the best part of my day. <sighs> All right, so something else I wanted to address is, um, you know, people ask a lot of times, like, how you look so heavy all the time. Girls know whatever, and uh, it's not always easy, but, you know, obviously I think it's worth it. For, for these, this certified document to be made public. You know, everything's held back in place, and then, of course, when training and stuff, I mean, they don't even bother me anymore. Apart from hypertrophy of the kidneys and liver, the autopsy report clearly stated that he passed away due to an unwitnessed acute cardiac event, which was caused by predisposing factors of severe concentric left ventricular hypertrophy. His heart enlargement was pointed towards the chronic use of exogenous steroids and non-steroid hormones. There is significant difference between a naturally occurring cardiovascular disease and those resulting from chronic use of exogenous hormones, which was in the case of Dallas's early demise. Toxicology Report his toxicology report showed clear abuse of testosterone. His testosterone was 550 ng per ml, while the normal range is between 270 to 1070. This is even higher than a normal drug using bodybuilder's testosterone levels. His toxicology report tested positive for trenbolone, which is a lethal anabolic steroid. 
It is very potent and equally harsh on the human body. For a safer dose of Trenbolone, the cholesterol rises up to 20 to 30 points and blood pressure skyrockets. Abusing Tren is bound to cause major heart issues. Unsurprisingly, Dallas didn't pay heed and on the highway to hell. And uh, just mix up all my pre-workout and post-workout shakes. A warning to all the young men in the world that are using steroids, you have to be careful. Dallas is known uh, for being a hard worker. Uh, comes from blue collar roots. Um, he was 26 year old man at the time of his death. Uh, and man, when he hit that, I mean, I knew he had it in. Giving you testosterone at least for the rest of your life. You know, I have a relative idea of exactly where I need to be. We continue. And it's also stacking up such a high dose of testosterone along with a drug like Trenbolone is an invitation for major trouble as it strains the heart. The lesson. Dallas went way ahead of what his body could take. The same happened with Rich Piana last year. No doubt that the both of them motivated a lot of people in bodybuilding and achieved great heights, but at what cost? It wasn't even sudden. He saw it coming when he collapsed on stage during a pose down. And so before I come back home and get back to like training heavy, it's always best for me to like get everything back in line. Dallas actually came up to my room one night um, and uh, he said, I think I'm done with football. I think I'm going to try this. His liver enlargement was just outstanding. And it's amazing that that happened to him. We were worried about the weight limit on the table at one point. Yeah, I was his close. Weight, my weight was going up. Unfortunately for him, this realization came after a point of no return. We just hope that this serves as a lesson to stubborn meatheads who live in a fantasy world, aimlessly chasing a hedonistic lifestyle. Abusing anabolic hormones like recreational drugs is nothing to be proud of. Your number of your IG followers isn't worth your life.